All right, everybody, welcome to Rana's Radar. Here I am in beautiful Florida once again. And of course, classic cars for sale is what's happening in this video. I'm here at PJ's Auto World. Sports cars, classic cars. We're gonna show you exactly what's here inside the showroom, including those prices as well. But before all that, I wanna get some information for you lot on exactly where I'm at. Justin, come over here, mate. How's it going? Good, how's it going? My name's Justin. We're here at PJ's Auto World. We sell a lot of classic cars. Been here for about 40 years, a little over 40 years. So, 40 years. Now, yeah. I said to you that I went to the wrong location because I pulled up another PJs and there was all modern cars. Yeah, so we have three locations, uh, two stores of all classic cars. Our main location is at 1751 Gulf to Bay in Clearwater, Florida. And then our second location is at 1370 Cleveland Street, also in Clearwater. Two showrooms, all classic cars, muscle cars, sports cars. And that's what we're interested in today, isn't it? It's yeah. all about the classics here, no modern stuff. You've got stuff here on the outside and there is a big showroom on the inside as well. Tell me about um, PJ's now. This is joint partnership, so it's not a family run business or it uh, is? It is a family run business. It's a family yeah, run mostly business. Mostly family run business. Most of our employees are all family, but a couple aren't. So. Nice. And this, those are the places that really do thrive and that's why it's been doing so well for 40 years. Yep, that's why I've been here so long. That's why you've yep. been here for so long as well. You love the classics, I'm guessing? Yep, yep, I love the classics myself. I got a newer Mustang, but I like the old ones too. I can't blame you, I've got a newer Charger, but I do love the old classic Mopars. Now, everybody, we wanna have a look at some of the, since I'm outside, why don't we look at some of the stuff you've got out here, and then we'll go inside the showroom. Yeah, sure thing. What are you gonna show me, Justin? Uh, we got this El Camino right here. This one just came in not too long ago. Got big block, automatic. I believe this one has AC. Real nice red paint job. And over here we got a 62 Thunderbird. So with the El Camino, before we move on, it yep. doesn't have a sticker price yet. Uh, nope, not yet. This one's not on our website yet. We just got a whole bunch of new cars in, so we're kind of getting through them and putting them online as we go. Do you know how quick the turnover is with the inventory that you get here? Uh, it depends on the car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, usually pretty quick. The muscle cars don't last long. Chevelles, Camaros are usually pretty quick. They're very popular now, yeah. you know. Yes, so much of my latest um, classic cars have been on the Chevelles and Camaros, but they are in big demand. Let's have a look at the Thunderbird. What year did you say this one was? This one's a 62. A 62. Yep. This one's got a 390. It's got air conditioning, power windows, and this one's 29,900. Beautiful classic at under $30,000, everybody. Here is that sticker price for you lot. 1962 Ford Thunderbird. And as Justin was just telling us, it's got AC, automatic transmission as well, four barrel carburetor. I mean, anytime I see a classic for that price, it's, yeah. And this doesn't look like you would need to do much into it except give it a little wipe. Obviously it's been outdoors here in Florida, so there is a lot of, um, palm trees and yep, debris a quick wash and it's ready to go can we see the inside uh, i believe so it's unlocked yep. check it out under thirty thousand, everybody and not a thing to do do you get your cars on consignment or do you guys own all the cars uh, we own most of the cars. We have a few consignments. This one's a consignment, but we try to own about 90% of the cars. Okay, and then you've got a Cadillac here up on stands, just to show it off, right? Yep. This one's a 76 Cadillac. It's got real low miles. I believe it's around 32,000 original miles. 32,000 original miles? Yep, original miles. Now nice I can understand car. why it's in a stand, but usually something like this would be inside the showroom. Yeah, we try to get some attention going by all the cars <laughs> passing by the shop. Fair enough, Cadillac fans might not be happy, but it yeah. does work, doesn't it? <laughs> and do we know the price of this? Uh, this one is 16,000, I believe. 60,000? 16. 16? Yep, 16. You said one six. One six. 16,000. A lot of car for the money. It's a lot of cards, it's a four door car. Even if you had to modify or upgrade the engine, that is still worth it. Oh yeah, it doesn't need anything. It's, it's ready to go. It's ready to go. Yeah. We actually sold it before to a previous customer and he drove it to Fort Lauderdale and back and he loved it. And then he just wanted to get something different, I'm guessing. Yep. He, was, uh, he was relocating out of the country, so he brought it back to us. You gotta love those sales, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's always nice to see cars come back. 
Absolutely. Now we've got a few more Thunderbirds here. It's one of my favorite features of the classic Thunderbirds is that window. Yep. Now we've got a 2002. This one's also got real low miles. It's got about 18,000. I didn't even know that the Thunderbirds were made in 2002. Yeah, I believe 04 was the last year. 04 was the yeah, last one. Could be 03, but... But yet they've still carried that little window yep. from the vintage days. And that's a removable hard top also. It's got a soft top underneath it. Okay. Here is that sticker price, everybody, again, under $30,000. Now, we've got a stock number here, Justin. Does that mean that if people were to look at this and search it on your website, they'll be able to get more details? Yes, it'll come right up to that exact car. And we DJ's... have around videos of all the cars on there. And you've got that. But as well as that, you've also got it on YouTube too. Yep. PJ's Auto World. PJ's Auto World Classics. Okay. Because, you know, I like to just give you guys a glimpse of what's happening here and some of the cars that's here at the showroom and on the lot. But obviously, for more detailed pictures and uh, footage, do check out the website. The details are going to be on the screen as well as in the description. And then this is the 2004 Thunderbird. This one's 15900 another great price range. Nice convertible cruiser. And it's a convertible. Now we've got a row right here in the middle that we cannot ignore. Yep, those two just came in. We just got that uh, Riviera with an awesome paint job on it. And we got a Mercury Comet Cyclone up there. Okay, so they've just come in, so we don't know the prices yet. When do you think it'll go up on the website? Uh, usually about a, a week or two, give or take. We just got a whole bunch of new cars in recently, so. Well, I came in on. at the right time. All right, what are you going to turn on for me? Uh, whatever you want. <laughs> What's your favorite? I'm loving the Impalas these days. I'm loving the big cars. The Impala. So let's go have a look at this red yeah, one. Turn that one on. And I noticed you guys were giving it a clean as I pulled in as well. Yeah, that one's going to the exhaust shop. Needs a little muffler work. Okay. <laughs> I think he might have the key for it inside. Check this out. Beautiful. Yep, the key's inside. I got to run and grab it. Okay. All right, so Justin's back here with the keys and he's just told me it's a 383 stroker. Can I get in, Justin? Yeah, sure. This is beautiful. And I got a lot, you have to love that sound, everybody. I know I do, but check it out. When a car is the same color as it is on the outside and the inside, it just has a whole different effect. Nice. Yep. This one's got a four-speed manual. It's got the whole digital dash. It's all been updated. And this is beautiful. It's a fun car. It's a fun car. It's running, it's driving. Now you told me it needed to get a little bit of work done, some minor stuff on the exhaust. Where do you take that? Do you just take it to a shop locally or do you have something yourself? Uh, we have both. We have in-house mechanics and we also have local shops we work with. So the car gets the full run through? Yep look yep. over before it gets um sold and yeah all the cars will look through before right when they come in by our shop and then when they go out they also get checked out so you're getting a ready to go car ready to go car and that's what we like to hear nobody wants to be working on the classics if they don't have to right yep you're not going to get a project and have to spend a ton of money on it exactly check it out the interiors are immaculate looks it's as though nobody has sat in the back seat yeah the back seat looks brand new very new how much do you think this would go for 
I'm not sure yet. We don't have a price on this one. Okay, yep. but it is an Impala. Yep, nice Impala. And it runs good. It sounds good. I mean, I'm thinking it's probably going to be 60 to 80 range. Probably somewhere around the 60s, if I, if I had to guess. In the 60s. Try to keep it down. Under 70 would be good. Yeah. Get closer to 50, you might actually sell it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's a nice rescue mod. It's got a lot of work done to it. And... Nah, this is awesome. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. All right, let's go check out some more on the inside. All right, so now we are here in the main showroom. A lot of cars here, a lot of beautiful colors. Come on, Justin, walk with me. I hate doing this all by myself. It's a beautiful Camaro right here. Yeah, this one's a 67 Rally Sport convertible. It's got a 427, but it's badged as a 396. It's also got a four-speed manual. Nice. This one's got the Rally Sport headlights. These are the ones that flip you yep, up. The hideaways. The hideaways. One of my favorite features. 67 Camaro and it has all been done up. It's all been restored. It looks immaculate. This is definitely not going to be under 30,000 everybody. Nope, this one's 72.9. Here is that sticker price. There's more details there as well. Pause the screen if you need to. But this is something that has been done. It's finished. You could take it to shows. You could actually win awards with it or you could just enjoy it. Okay, loving the color here. Yep, that's a factory color, Cortez silver with red interior. It's a real SS car, we have the build sheet for it. It's a 427 crate motor, automatic transmission, factory air, factory power windows. I now know the difference as well when I hear real SS. Mm -hmm. All those upgraded features, options that someone has opted to get from the factory during that time. Check out the interiors, everybody. And how much is this Chevelle now with its everything um, that looks done as well? This one's 89900 89000 Just under ninety. Do you do payment plans or financing? Uh, we work with a couple of banks that finance, JJ Best and Collector Car Lending, but we don't finance in-house. Okay, <clears throat> but you but can guide people. Them. Yep. There you go. And what about warranty? No warranties through us on the classics. <clears throat> yep. yep. They're old cars. They're old cars. You've got to come here, drive it. Yep, come here, drive it, check, check it out. Check it out. Bring your mechanic friend along the way as well. Yeah, if you want. Or have it inspected. <laughs> or have it inspected. It's beautiful. So we've got a 69 Nova here. Yeah, this one's also got a fuel injected 383 crate motor. Really fast car. At 54,900, I appreciate those details because I don't know too much about it, which is why you're here with me to. Tell me what's happening exactly under the hood. Yeah, this one's got a fast EFI fuel system on it. And it goes. It's a lot of fun. Sounds like you've driven this one before. Oh, yeah, we, we drive them all. <laughs> we take them all out and have some fun. All right, well, come over here. Let's go have a look at the GTO, and then I do want to look at the Mopar you've got, too. Beautiful. And what have you got here, Justin? This one's a 69 GTO. It's actually got a Ram Air 3 motor in it. It's not numbers matching, but it's a very nice restoration. I believe this one's also a four-speed manual. This one also has AC, which is nice, especially in Florida. I bet. <laughs> I was recently at Pontiac's in Pigeon Forge, everybody, so I loved seeing all the GTOs. But here is the sticker on this car. You've got the price right there. And again, do check out the website for more detailed pictures and videos. It's one classic car that will never go out of style. Absolutely timeless. Oh, 
Okay, what else have we got? Now we've got a Cobra car, so I'm guessing it's a kit? Yep, it's a Factory 5 kit car. This one's a Mark III. It's got a 331 uh, built by LNM engines. And it's got a Holley Sniper EFI fuel system on it. This one's also got a five-speed manual. I think this is such a great option for everybody to have the option of having a Shelby Cobra. Yeah, for a great price. For a great price and get the feel of what it would have been like. Yeah, basically a race car. <laughs> exactly. 65 and it is 64,900 everybody. As you can see, the wall is blocking me, so I cannot go over to the other side, but we're going to continue along. All right. We've got a Mustang here. This one's a 70 convertible, really nice driving car. Just a 302, nothing crazy. Nice cruiser. Power Beautiful. convertible top. Power convertible top, 1970 Mustang, everybody, and it's at 42.9. Here is the engine. You don't need it to fly, but you can feel like you're inside a classic and enjoy. This one also has air conditioning. With air conditioning. Justin, that's very important to you, isn't it? Yes, very important down here. Very <laughs> you think living here. in Florida, you'd be used to it. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. All right, let's come and have a look at the Nova with the stripes. Okay. So this is a 69 Chevy Nova. It's Resto Mar 383 stroker engine, powerful and it sounds amazing. We're going to have to believe that. We cannot turn on these cars that are here sitting on the inside, but that price right there is 54900 everybody. But I love the stripes. How long have you been here at PJ's? I've been here about six years. Six years. Yep. And what's your favorite car? You're on Rana's radar. My favorite? Um, I like 69 Camaros. That's what I want. So it's probably my go-to. Just like this one. This one's a real super sport. Numbers matching 350, four-speed manual. A lot of paperwork on this car. Show everybody here the inside. Beautiful. I love a touch of wood on the inside here. Beautiful. Full restoration has been done. Check out that hood. What's the price here, Justin? Uh, this one's 69900 Okay. Now, talk to me about the Dodge here. This one's a 72, I believe, Challenger, it's 440. Don't believe it's a real RT car, but it's got the RT stripes. You don't believe it's a real RT? No, I don't think so. Yep, 440 Magnum, automatic. So educate us, tell us a little bit about what makes a real RT. I'm not sure on that one. <laughs> I'm not a big Mopar guy myself. Fair enough. <laughs> that was a Chevy, I could tell you. I bet. <laughs> you just told us your favorite was a Camaro, so 440 four barrel in the engine bay, everybody. It's my favorite, so I would like to learn more about this, and I will check out the hood. And this is at 64,900.
I mean, whether real arty or not, those stripes look amazing. Yeah, it definitely adds a nice touch to it. 70s Mopa Classic with the piston grip shifter. All right, let's see, what else have you got? Now, you've got a Lotus sitting there, which caught my attention when I first walked in. Yep, that's a 69 Europa. That one needs some work, it's kind of a project car. It's, just... it's really rare, you don't see them too often. They're super small cars. This is what I like, the back here. Kind of reminds you of a mini version of the El Caminos. Yeah, it's kind of got the flat back to it. Yeah. Okay, well, there's no sticker price on this. We are going to move along here. Got to look at the Tri-5. Got a 56. 150 Chevy right here. Always very popular and never on sale. This one's been fully restored. Super nice paint and body on it. 454, automatic, AC, all the options you want. Nice. Because with the Tri-5 crew, Justin, they want to drive this. Yep, this one's definitely a nice driver. We've had it out, cruising the causeway, and it runs great. Another timeless classic, very reliable. Some of the best times that I have is at the Tri-5 Nationals, everybody. Very clean. Here is the sticker price. The 56 Chevy 150 is 69,900. And that's because it has had a full restoration done. You got an Oldsmobile back here. Yep, 442. It's really cool on these 56s too is where the gas cap is. When I first started doing the car shows, because I came into it looking to see 57 Belays up close, mm -hmm. and then I had to learn about what makes them apart and all the different ones, and that was one of the features that always told me, okay, if it's on the right-hand side, the door, it's a 55. Mm -hmm. If it's like what you've just shown us here, it's a 56. And of course, the 57 also had something similar to that. Yes. Yep. But it's got a full different front. Yeah, that's one of my favorite parts, these 56s. Now, 1969 Oldsmobile 442. Well, it's got the 400 engine block, which has been upgraded to the 32 Ram air intake. Okay. This one's also been fully restored. It's not a real W32 car, but they added the W32 front end on it. Absolutely. It's got the 12 volt posse rear end in it. Super stock, two wheels. 62,900 everybody. Somebody took a lot of care and time and spent a lot of money restoring this to get it to drive just the way they wanted. He's a Malibu? Yep, 70 Malibu. <clears throat> this one was a one family owned car actually. One owner. Okay. Well, well, within the family I'm guessing so. Yep. It was passed down through the kids and one of them eventually got rid of it. It's beautiful. And it looks like it's had a, a restoration done throughout yeah, the time as well. Yeah, it's a job and light restoration done on it. But that's the original engine? I believe so, yes. Okay. This is listed for just under 50,000 at 49,900, everybody. These big cars are in, I've said it before and I'll say it again, 2024, you're gonna see a lot more of the larger cars at the shows, so it's beautiful. All right, Justin, what are you opening up here? What am I looking at? This one's a 70 Camaro RS. It's got an LS1 resto mod with AC, Trimix 6 speed. Nice, someone's done this way. Painted floors. They built this to show it. Yep, this one's a show car. Beautiful. Check out the wheels. 
really nice silver paint job with the black stripes. An LS engine will always make the price go up. Check it out, everyone. Beautiful seats, comfortable, all power seats. It's been done right. We can only imagine what's happening underneath it. And then you've got Super Sport next to it. Yep, this one's a 70 Nova, 502 cubic inch, four speed manual with overdrive. A Nova with a big block, a traditional big block in it. And AC on this one also. This engine automatically is a lot more expensive than the LS1. So I don't see sticker prices on this. Yeah, these ones are going to be up there. They're, they're some real high quality cars. Well, I've still had a great time and I hope you lot at home have enjoyed seeing some of the stuff here at PJ's Auto World of classic cars and sports cars. Yep, in Clearwater, Florida. Clearwater, Florida. Check it out. Check out the website. There's a lot more details there as well. Um, contact number for people who want to call you if they've seen me walk past something. Yeah, 727-446-9999. There you go, everybody. Appreciate this so much. Thank you, Justin. Yeah, no problem.